السلام علیکم سیدی علیکم السلام و رحمت الله سیدی was there any significance of that strange orange cloud in Turkey a few days before the earthquake? I'm sure that was a sign for people. <clears throat> they say that there, there, there were different scholars saying something about the rosebud cloud and everything is a sign. So the summary of it is, I don't know specifically but I can tell you in general bad things are coming. So what are we doing to prepare for it is the importance, inshaAllah. <clears throat> As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu ya Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Forgive me for my ignorance. How should we behave when someone is doing injustice or try to crush us or try to take advantage even if we behave? I don't know, is that like a philosophy <laughs> question or you're in the middle of an oppressed nation and country and somebody's oppressing you? <laughs> so those can be philosophical understandings and most you can do is, is do your meditation, do your prayers, pray that Allah will fa the umri in Allah in Allahu basirun bil ibad that for verily Allah sees the condition and the state of His servant. So there's uh, praying and meditating and uh, if you're under direct oppression and somebody harming you then trying to go to the authorities and, and seeking a remedy again everyone has to go to the extent of, of what's really happening to them. If it's just philosophy and thinking, oh I live in this region and everybody's oppressive then these are the last days and everywhere will be oppressive in which Prophet described the one sitting is better than the one standing means don't move. Every step of movement going to cause you more harm. You walk, you're more, you're more danger than when you were sitting. So then people will be frozen right where they are. That state of difficulty begins to open upon the earth in which people don't know where is safe and what is, what is safe. This is the time in which to build the connection, build the love, build the protection. So that to motivate the servant to make their connection with ishq and love and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago. Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So you have to use world events as a means in which to motivate. If this doesn't motivate and you're still locked on then, then it's going to be dangerous. You know the, the how they trap a monkey, it's very, it's very sort of good image to always remember within our, in our heart is that when they want to hunt the monkey. They find a tree, they make a, a little hole in the tree and they put all the berries that the monkey wants. And the monkey puts his hand to get the berries, as a result of putting his hand he makes a fist but now he can't take his hand out of the hole, means he traps himself from his own desires. And he, for the life of him he will not let go of those berries just to get his hand out and save himself. And that's the condition of people that they're trapped in their dunya, trapped in the belief of their dunya is going to go forever and that what this guy is talking about is not real, then event happens. So it's still not real, then another event happens. 
it's still not real until it's right next to you. Means then the hunter has come and the monkey is slain. <clears throat> so at some point people wake up and say, no this is very real <clears throat> and I have to take care of my family and I have to take care of my akhirah. And I have to make my connection so that I'm tuning in into this heavenly satellite and that I have the abilities that Allah wants me to have. So many things that if we speak about what abilities and, and, and what Allah inshaAllah will open for the soul and the ability of the soul is something that can't be imagined. That the, the shaykh doesn't need to be anywhere physically. That the power of his soul can come out as many different personalities of his reality. Not something even people would understand of the soul but an actual duplicate image of themselves can be many places at the same time and materialize, look like a form for people which has the same ability and the same ability to interact with creation. And that's unlimited. From Allah How many times somebody can manifest and send their wave reality? So they don't need legs for that, they don't need anything for that, they just need a sincere heart. So people listening saying, oh these people are gonna have to march and they're gonna fight. This fight that we're talking about is only by the heart. This is not a heart, this is not a fight for hands. Because crazy people already have all sorts of crazy inventions to kill each other. But the believer, their heart and their fight is with their heart. We passed the phase in which people could do something with their hands. We, fa we passed the phase in which people could do something with their mouth. You know when Prophet described, if you see an oppression then lift it with your hand. If you can't lift with your hand, lift it with your speech, say something about it. And if you can't do that then you have to resolve it through your heart. Means the most powerful is now coming through the heart. That when the heart of the believer is ignited and it becomes Baytullah, that Allah's Izza and Might is upon that servant. And from wherever they are they merely begin to direct their being, their wujud and the light of their reality comes out and can be many places at the same time with Im unimaginable understandings and no limitations and the limit is only by what Allah and His Rasul said. So this is not something of a physical nature. This is something that has to be by an opening from the heart of the servant because we're not at a place anymore where anybody can physically look at the, the things that people have that you can't compete with their physical understandings and abilities. And they're not going to listen to any more logic that this is an oppression and this is wrong. That we're in a state in which only the heart of the believer can make their munajat and ask for Allah that in the face of these oppression, Ya Rabbi that open my heart. And then Allah guides the servant and go study how to do that. And as a result then they'll study and Allah begin to open inshaAllah openings that can't be understood and if we talk about it then we'll even have more attacks which they already attack us for talking about energy. Allah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Alaikum Salaam Sayyidi a man in Turkey is claiming to be Al-Mahdi How can we be safe in this time of fitna? How can we distinguish real Imam Mahdi from a fake Dajjal? Shukran. Yeah you have to meditate with your shaykh, don't, don't, don't look at news clippings. He's not going to come through a news clipping. So this has to be with your shaykhs, your connection and when you have that connection you wouldn't ask that. So this is not the… we all turn on to the internet then we read articles. This is a course in which you have to connect your heart, make your heart connection, get the meditation book 
and get two of them so you read each one, then get two more to give to your loved ones and learn the whole system of connection. Because before you can understand and see Sayyidina Mahdi you have to see a shaykh. You have to understand the role of the shaykh in front of you is not just making nice YouTubes and shorts but that he's cleaning and that every time you connect that that energy is being taken off of people, negative energy been taking off of people. As soon as they connect they take the negative energy and send the positive energies. So that whole reality has to be understood. Once they make their connection then they understand that, oh how difficult it is to keep the presence of the shaykh. Then what do you think then to be in the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi in which we describe that the level of purity is so high that many cannot do it by their physical form as a result hundreds and thousands and millions will die, billions will die. Six out of seven billion people will be leaving this earth. And if the two billion are Muslim I would imagine a good number of them become shaheed and as a result of being shaheed means they give away their physical form. At that time their ruhaniyat can be of service to the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad So the, the numbers are, are staggering of what's coming upon this earth, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Shaykh Nurjan. Walaykum As Salaam wa uh, What is the reality of Hadra? Huh? The Hadra is the energy, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi. Walaykum As Salaam uh, This was in regards to a talk on uh, writing. Uh, self-accounting and writing? Yeah. Uh, Sayyidi, I thought writing down anything negative including our actions is not permissible because power that writing has. What we can and cannot write and what should we write? Don't journal. Don't sit and start journaling all sorts of khatir, all the thoughts and crazy thoughts of people, oh I like that, I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't like that, journal. Don't journal, this is not about that. But to say that I did this wrong, I don't like this person because of this, I don't like this, then, I, then you identify your characteristics so that to write the actions. Journaling is just letting your mind go loose on all the philosophies you have until you make like a unabomber manifesto. This is all satanic, you don't need to write anything. The writing of a hisab and an accounting is very clear. What did you do wrong today? Um, I bothered this person, I yelled at this person and I did these things. Then look at that and then understand that this is the bad character and that I'm not going to repeat this the next day. So don't, don't journal and just sort of letting shaitan whisper in your thoughts and people just like to write and write and write and write all sorts of sort of uh, whatever's coming in the whispers of their ears. But taking a hisab every night of what you did wrong and after a while you don't need to even write it because the hisab should be a lot shorter, right? You don't write like five things you did wrong but you take a big journal and you start because you're doing everything wrong. But if you still have to write long lists every night something's wrong. But most people if they practice and practice they sit at the end of the night and their hisab is in their mind. But I know I did this wrong, I know that I yelled like this, I know that I talk like that, Ya Rabbi Tawbah and they ask for forgiveness. But at first there's so many understandings that they're doing wrong, they didn't understand the tariqah, they didn't understand the mannerisms and then they have to check each one what they're doing wrong, how they talked wrong, how they acted wrong, how they yelled wrong, how they did all these things. So big difference between that and journaling inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah You had mentioned the use of rose quartz during meditation. I have a rose quartz from before, how can it be cleansed? 
nothing, there's nothing to be cleansed, just put it in water then hold it again and meditate inshaAllah. Rabbika Rabbil Izzata min yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen illa sharaf al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alayhi wa sahbihi kiram wa la mashaykhina fi tariqatil ashbandiyyat al aliyya wa sa'ira wa sadatina wa siddiqeen al fatiha. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Alaykum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh.